Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to install some printable wallpaper border. You can download this at my website, dollhousetutorials.com, and there's quite a few different patterns to it that you can do. And you can also download the printable part for the closet. Okay, so once you have that, you want to go ahead and cut it in some strips. And what I did is I cut this piece here because mine needs to go underneath of this little lip because my room is taller than this actual piece. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get some Mod Podge. And you can either put it on the paper or you can put it on the wall. Either way will work. Just be um, cautious because if you put it on the wall and you don't go down far enough, it's not going to stick on the bottom of the wallpaper. If you put it on the wallpaper and you put it on the wall, then that works too, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my wallpaper and I'm going to start out by putting it on the part that I need to go down first. Alright, once I have it there, I'm just going to go ahead and even it up with my sealant and push it down in there. And then that's going to wrap around. As you can see, it's coming over. Okay? Don't worry about this part if it's hanging over because we'll take care of that once it's dry. Okay? Now this is just a credit card, gift card, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm just using that to kind of push it in place. You don't need anything fancy. Um, Mod Podge does have tools that you can use, but they're a little pricey and they're not really necessary. You could use something like this and then you can kind of go across like that with the other half. However, the card works just as good. I just went ahead and cut it straight so that it did not have the rounded corner. But I did keep the rounded corner because I do want to get that part for when I want to go down like that so I don't rip the wallpaper. Okay. Also, I have covered my floor. That way I don't get it on the floor itself. Now the key to doing the printable wallpaper is to make sure that you have enough on the wall at the top and the bottom, but not so much that it bleeds through. So because I know where my top is going to end, I'm just going ahead and putting it across the bottom. And then on here, on the actual wall, I'm going to put it on the wall. I'm also using Mod Podge Matte. You notice I just pulled that off. It's because it wasn't even at the top. It was actually above where I needed it to be. Okay, so very carefully pull down on your glue like this so that you can get that glue to come down to the edge. And across. Once it's completely dry, you can go across the top of it with a knife going across like this. But do not do it until it's completely dry. Okay, so that's all it is to installing the wallpaper border. There's a lot of printable wallpapers on my page, along with floor tiles and backsplashes. So go ahead and check it out. You can download it for free. There's like some Pargo, like flooring. There's a 
printable floors there, printable floors there. If you print it on cardstock and you follow tutorials that I did for the Little Italy flooring, which is over here. I don't know if you can see it. That's actually just a paper floor and you can't really tell that it's paper. Okay, and if you do that, then you can have the printable floors and it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg to do it. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. And if you want to see how this room comes along, then click that bell because we're going to be doing lots more to this dollhouse as it was given to me. And it is so outdated um, with the wallpaper and stuff. If you can see, it's kind of got like that old school effect going on, which is not bad if you want something older. But I don't kind of see how dingy and this room is. That's kind of how this room was before I started brightening it up with the pop of color here. And over here, same thing. So if you want to see the transformation of this very old dollhouse, click that bell. All right. I will talk to you next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care.